Hi, this is Doug Belshaw from Just Infonet. I just want to show um, the mobile learning info kit that I've been working on recently. So if you just type in mobile learning info kit into your favorite search engine, what should happen is you should see the mobile learning info kit which I created. And the mobile learning info kit is made to augment the new JISC Emerging Practice and a Digital Age Guide. And there's lots of resources around there. There's a slide share um, that you can download the actual document. Um, basically, it's a developing resource. The whole point is that it's going to develop over time, and this is version 0.1. It was launched at Alt-C in September. So as I said, um, the JISC Emerging Practice and a Digital Age Guide which is the major JISC guide, and this is augmenting um, some of that um, information in there. There's three main sections. There's the there's the introduction, but after that there's the, the strategy section, the pedagogy section, and the implementation section. The idea being that it's going to appeal to different types of people. So if you're very new to mobile learning, you want an overview of, of what it is and why you'd want to get involved with using mobile devices and learning, then you go to the introduction, introductory session. But if you're interested in kind of from a senior manager point of view on strategy, or if you're an e-learning manager or something like that, then you might be interested in the, in the strategy behind things in terms of um, how it's going to affect your organizational culture or how it can be sustained, that type of thing. Um, the pedagogy section, that's more if you're involved in learning and teaching. Um, and a lot to do with mobile learning is to do with context, so we'll have a look at that in a moment. And then finally, if you're on the technical side, you might be interested in the implementation, so technical considera considerations, accessibility, um, any barriers there might be, that type of stuff. Um, and then this final section is our snapshots, so very short case studies on how Bradford, Leeds Medical School, and MindMass have gone about implementing mobile learning in their institutions. So, um, what I've done is I've used a B motif, and the idea behind the B motif is that it, it foregrounds the idea that it's not really about the devices themselves, it's about the mobility of the learner. So just like bees um, swarm together sometimes, but go off foraging in various different ways for nectar, um, in the same way, learners go off and use mobile devices um, in different ways. And it's about the mobility of the learner rather than the mobility of the device. So um, if you want to use this yourself, or if you want to point someone towards it, Things like what is mobile learning has de has quotations from people like Agnes Kukulska Hume at the Open University, um, John Trax at Wolverhampton, and people who are really well known in, in mobile learning, along with references, which you can show people and convince them that mobile learning might be a good thing to do. Um, for those who are confused by jargon and that type of thing, there's a glossary in the introductory section, and that goes through all of the jargon and the acronyms to help you understand what's going on there. Um, I'm going to skip straight to the implementation section where there's a 10 steps to mobile learning adoption diagram. Now I read lots and lots of stuff, um, especially some things from Gary Woodall who's in, who's in Canada. And he's written a book called The Mobile Learning Edge and he's done this really complicated, awesome diagram but these 10 steps are what I would suggest um, are what you need if you're wanting to get started with mobile learning as a whole institution. Not as an individual lecturer, not as an individual student, but as a whole institution. So you can click on that and it'll make it bigger. And I've made it 1024 by 768 so you can put it very nicely into your presentations if that's what you want to do. It's all under a Creative Commons license. So have a look at that. Um, so that's in the implementation section. In the pedagogy, pedagogy section um, I suggest you have a look at the bit where it says the importance of context because context is is of paramount importance when it comes to mobile learning because otherwise we might as well just be in an ICT suite with a desktop machine fixed to the desk. It's all about being able to use your mobile device in a different context from how you'd use it originally. And this particular section builds on work um, by Mike Sharples um, and previous work by JISC as well. And it's got some nice diagrams in terms of how you can consider the different contexts. Another thing I haven't mentioned is that there's little videos which are scattered around the place um, because for the, the JISC Emerging Practice Guide, they did some interviews with people around the country and some of them were relating to mobile learning. So I've included those in there. Um, that big diagram there is from a guy called Tom Cochran and he's talking about how it's not really the learning management system or the VLE that should be at the centre of your e-learning system but the, the smartphone or some type of mobile device because that's representing the mobility of the learner. Uh, I've tried to include as many resources and, and references in there as possible.
So that's that. Um, in terms of strategies and overviews, I think the section on quick wins might be of use to quite a lot of people, because what it's got is it's, it's trying to explain the fact that um, there's a spectrum of mobile learning experiences. On the one hand, you have admin-y kind of things, so um, find out if your lecture's been cancelled or um, some things happen within the institutions. That's from an admin point of view. But then the other end of the spectrum, there's kind of deep learning and teaching experiences. Um, and it depends on what you're trying to do. And it's not it's not as one's better than another. It just depends on what you're trying to do with your mobile learning experience. So it's probably worth having to read through that and, and thinking about five quick ways in which you can really kickstart an institution-led mobile learning initiative. So it's things like just adding a mobile style sheet to your website. Quite a techie thing, but quite easy to do if you know what you're doing. Um, using social media accounts. I mean, over 50% of the time spent on mobile devices on the internet is spent on Facebook. You know, why not get into some of that? Um, so have a look at, at various things you can do and have a read of, for example, what John Fairhall from the University of Bradford has to say about what they did there. Um, and the other sections I'd recommend having a look at are mobile learning myths. There's a lot of myths about mobile learning, like it's really expensive, um, there's no standards, um, it's really hard to read things on a small screen, um, it's not accessible, that type of thing. They're all myths, and they're things you can get around. So do have a look at that section as well, that's in the um, introductory section. And then finally, I'd suggest that you have a look at the snapshots. I've already mentioned the University of Bradford and the fantastic their work they've been doing. Have a look at their case study and have a look at how they've been using a really kind of diverse approach to mobile learning um, using the types of devices that their students have got which range from the very basic kind of five-year-old phone to the latest and greatest kind of iPhone 4S or whatever it is. Um, so as I said it's a developing resource I'm not going to spend any more time looking through that because I think it's really important that you get in there and have a look at what's available um, and then suggest if you know of anything if you think anything needs adding do get in touch with me. Um, it's doug.bellshaw at northumbria.ac.uk. That's where Jiskin Funet is, is based. Um, and we'll be updating that as things go along. One final thing, which is really annoying, is that um, just before launching this, PBWorks, which is the platform for this particular info kit, they, um, they pulled the mobile version of, of PBWorks and didn't tell anyone about it. So there isn't a mobile version of the mobile learning info kit. I'm well aware of how ironic that is, um, but I'm hoping that if you download the PDF at the moment, that will suffice. I am working towards either moving into a platform which is going to accommodate a mobile version or trying to do some type of um, mobilification, but it is quite complex and it is more difficult than it seems. So go away and have a look. Um, you can just go to bit.ly forward slash mobile learning info kit or you can just um, use your favorite search engine and type in mobile learning info kit and it should come up. Thanks very much.